I know you guys sent me the papers to review, and I'm going to be honest. I don't didn't want to review them because it's been so long. It's like I uh, just don't want to deal with this anymore. Yes, I went through the witness statement, and it's everything that is written there, that's what I said. Um, do you know whether Mr. Depp has had ever been physically violent with Amber Heard? And by this, I mean hitting, punching, throwing objects at her, kicking her, headbutting her. Do you know one way or the other whether Mr. Depp ever did that to Ms. Heard? Nope. Have you ever seen Mr. Depp uh, slam things around or be angry? No, I have never seen him like that. How would you describe Amber Heard's interactions with you? Were they friendly? Would she smile at you? Would she talk with you? She was really friendly. She will always smile. And but she, we never had like a like a uh, interaction as a as. It's really close relationship, like uh, like I do with some of the other residents. She okay. never told me any of her problems. She never stopped by and talk about her personal life. She never did that. That's what I said. <laughs> I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But because they asked, they asked me, they asked me if I remember seeing anything. And so I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember any, seeing anything. I just don't remember. They put, how it would have been so obvious, like someone had like a black eye, I would have like, whoa, you know, I would have seen that. And I would have remembered because it's something that you will, you will see. You know, like so noticeable, like you will, all, like, you will remember. But when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any marks, bruises, or anything. I got a habit of uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into their eyes. And when I was talking to uh, Amber and Rocky, I always look into their eyes. Okay. And I will probably wouldn't notice like any swollen or bruise, like I said, I would probably would notice. Is it fair to say, Mr. Romero, that you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. And like I said, I would probably remember the swollen, but I didn't saw anything. I don't re just don't remember. And you don't remember seeing anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember, I remember, I, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I remember, I gotta tell the whole story, how they got there. Before they got, they went and get the keys, they come down, they say, somebody tried to get into my unit, they scratch us on my door, and say, and like, um, um, I'm really sorry, but who, will think it's gonna get into your unit because they saw some scratches on the door, like, what, four inches above the door? Because the dog was scratching the door, was trying to get in, and they thought about someone trying to break into the, their, their unit. I said, ah, in my head, I was like, you really, you think someone's trying to get into your unit? There's scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door? That was the dog trying to get into the unit. They were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? And I actually went. They asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that. It's part of my job. Make sure they're safe. But I, like, really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court 
case. I, everybody got problems, and I don't want to deal with this no more. I don't want. To, I don't want to put this in any more words. You say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks. Any marks? Did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see anything. Do you recall giving that testimony on the under oath back at that time, two months after the incident? Yes, I, do, I remember. Because like I said, I was, I always make eye contact with someone I'm talking to. But I'm not looking to find something like, like oh, your makeup is wrong. Uh, you, you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows or your um, eyelashes are not even. Or I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm looking. I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will re probably will remember. If you saw something, right? Yeah, I, I would have probably would see like if she had. A swollen, like if she was wearing makeup, probably would have been seen the swollen. I probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the 25th of May? How swollen was her cheek? Well, re according to the pictures you, you, I've been seeing right now that you're showing me, it was pretty swollen. I will probably will remember that. How many days later did you see her? from that swelling. That was on a Wednesday. That was from Saturday to Wednesday. Right. How many right. days would it be fair to say that you cannot testify one way or the other whether Amber Heard was domestically abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016? I can I cannot say that. I would not, would not agree to testify against anyone of domestic